Hey everyone. All right, let's see. I'm trying to see if we need some light here. Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to petition to Saint Expedite. This wonderful saint here. Let's focus on him. Okay, very simple on how to do this. He is going to need his own space, his own altar. If it's something temporarily that you can't do it with, you know, you have family and um, you can undo it. And what I mean by undoing is, I mean the space, okay? Not undo your spell, but undo your space. So you can have laid out, um, you know, his water, his picture and his candle if it's a small candle then that's fine if you have a candle like this and you have to turn it off so you can do it again the next day because you're hiding you know whatever the case may be then you can definitely put everything away hide it away where no one sees you know what's going on okay all right so say next expedite You'll need a picture, whether it's digital, framed, standing. It has to be, you know, standing because he is in front of you. You are calling out to him. Calling out to him to be right in front of you, right by you. And you're about to, in other words, wake him up. In other words, you know... Pay attention to me. Look at me. You know, I'm I'm talking to you. Let's talk to one another. And, you know. So, with him, you want to make sure you talk out loud and clear. All right. Um, I also have here water. You're going to need some water. And I like to use glass, clear glass. It doesn't matter the shape, the form. I just don't really like anything with designs. Your petition, if you only have lined piece of paper, construction paper, brown paper bags, a brown, you know, what I have here, use what you have, okay? Then you're going to need a red candle. Pretty sure there's another color or two that you can use, but I always stick to red. When I think of Saint Expedite, I think of red. There's no other color that I see that I want, at least when I'm I'm working with him. It's all red, red, and red. Okay, that's all you're gonna need for the beginning part. Okay, this is what you need to work with Saint Expedite four ingredients, five with the prayer that you're going to need. And I will leave that in the description below. Sometimes I forget to put it in the comments. I'm so sorry. I hope you can um, get to the description and hopefully I remember to put it in the comments. But the prayer is like this. Say next but you lay and rest, I come before you to ask that this wish be granted. And this is where you will say your petition. Okay, whatever you wrote on the paper, that's what you're about to say. Once you are done, the prayer is not done. The prayer continues as, expedite that I want of you expedite this now that I want of you this very second don't waste another day I know your power I know you because of your work I know you can do it you do this for me and I will spread your name with love and honor that will cause it to be invoked again and again expedite grant this wish with speed, love, honor, and goodness. May glory to you, Saint Expedite. And with that same tone, if you could even talk louder than me, 
And that's, I, I will definitely talk louder. But I don't want you guys to be like, oh my goodness, I need to put my volume down because this girl is just yelling at us. But loud and clear, okay? Um, there are several videos of him on, you know, just history about him. So he was hard of hearing. You know, that's why we need to talk loud and clear. The petition has to be simple. Don't make it complicated. Don't make it complicated for yourself and for St. Expedite. Make sure you understand it and he understands it, most importantly. Okay? So he was also, um, he wasn't able to read and, you know. So that's why you don't want to use big dictionary words. Keep it simple. I need this and this by that date. I need this amount by next Friday. Or you can even, you know, say in two days, in five days. Be as specific. I was very specific. I get, I made sure, don't put the month and the date. Make sure, if you're going to write that, make sure you write the year. Okay? But if you, if you even want to be more specific and write out the date and then say, you know, that will be in seven days. That will be in three days. Okay? So that's, you know, that's how specific we have to be with St. Expedite. That's how um, we have to make it less complicated. In other words, we have to make it less complicated for ourselves and for St. Expedite. But once that is done, once you have placed everything, your his space, you will say this prayer say your petition, then, then you have to make sure your petition is in front of him. Because, you know, it's like you're handing him, I need your help with this. Light the candle, and the candle will be placed before him. The water stays there, the candle stays there. And if it has not been granted yet on when this candle is done, this is a three-day candle. If it has not been given to you within three days and say, you know, you asked him in, you need it by two weeks and say it's been three days and still nothing, then you will get another candle and you will repeat it. Okay. And by all means, Every day, every day, talk to him. Talk to him. Say your petition again. Speak the, the prayer loud and clear. You know, make sure that you let him know that you're serious too. Okay? Because he is a trickster. So we can't just think like, oh, yes, Saint Expedite is, is a very powerful saint. And he is definitely speeding. But just because other people have said it, that doesn't mean that you just come sit down one day and do this ritual and then that's it. I'll leave it all up to him. Like, no, you, you got to put your part into it too. Put your energy, your intention. We, you know, we want to, we want things to come fast our way, right? So with his help and your help, that will happen. All right. So now say... You know, you got what you wanted and you had just lit this candle yesterday. So it's about here, say, for example. So what do you do? What do you think? Oh, well, he gave me what I wanted. Now what do I do? Well, I would let the rest of the candle burn. Okay. Because yes, he has granted what I've, what I've asked for, but I don't want him to trick me. I have to make sure that that job is done. Okay. Now, I'm not saying give him two weeks after he has granted you what you've asked for. 
give him two weeks and be like, okay, I think, you know, he paid me two weeks ago. Let me go ahead and pay him. Because believe me, he does not play either. You have to make just like how he will grant you what you ask for very fast. You better give him what you promised him very fast. Okay. And what does he like very fast? Water. And a fresh red candle. That doesn't mean if it turns off here, I mean, what well, doesn't turn off, but your petition has been granted here. You let that, the rest burn and you think, oh, well, the rest can be his gift. No, you need a fresh new candle, fresh new candle, fresh water, fresh red roses. Okay. And pound cake. If you cannot purchase a pound cake around you, make him a cake. If you can't make him a cake and all you have are coins, pay him with coins. Pay him with, you know, as much because he knows. They know. They know what you have. They know if you're greedy. They know if you really don't have anything. Okay? They know that. So, if all you have is candy, then give him candy. So, what do you do with this candy? What do you do with this pound cake? What do you do with this gift of roses and gift of candy? I mean, candle. Well, after, you know, I say about three days, four days, you know. Then you will take the pound cake the candle, the roses, and you will go out where there is a beautiful tree, okay? And you will place the items by this tree. You will leave it there. You will turn around and not look back. You can thank him before you turn your back on these items you can thank him once again that's up to you but another thing that you have to do and this is a very simple one because I mean we all have social media so whether it is that you get on YouTube newspaper I mean it, it's it's endless but you have to make a public thank you that's you, you are spreading his name. Just like in the prayer, that's what he wants. He wants you to spread his name. So, that's, that's one thing that you cannot forget. To give him a public thank you. Very important. Very important. When he has, when he has granted you what you've asked for, you pay him what you promised him. And you give him a public thank you. And it's done. That's done. Okay? You can work with him as many times as you want. Um, the only thing how I feel with saying expedite is I don't just come and gift him all, every day. All the time. Because I don't want him to see me as, you know, she has asked me for help. And now, you know, she's gifting me and gifting me. So, you know, maybe the next time she, she asks for my help, maybe I won't help her. Maybe I'll trick her. I mean, everyone's going to have different point of views. But I love St. Expedite. I know how powerful he is. I know how speedy he is. That, I don't deny any of it. I know how real he is. And I do not play with St. Expedite. That's why I don't, you know, come to him every single day. I don't... Okay. So, now, after that, you're done. Your petition's done. We're good to go. 
Um, the petition, you guys, what you can do so you don't have to just leave it out in the park somewhere is burn it. Um, so before you're about to go take all this stuff to, the, to buy a tree, I would burn the petition and the ashes. I would place them, you know, either inside the candle or by, if you're using a vase with roses or, you know, just wherever. And just stuff them in there and leave it at the, the park, okay? I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything. I don't think so. Um, oh, and of course, with the petition, make sure your writing is facing up, okay? And until then, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, my email is in the description or you can comment here.